We're with Aaron Smith from the SPU volleyball team. Aaron and the Falcons heading up to Western Washington and Simon Fraser this week. Uh, but first, uh, coming off a big win at Montana State Billings, and that's always a tough place to win. Aaron, talk about that match a little bit, and what did the Falcons do to turn it in their favor? Um, I definitely think we have been preparing really, really well these last couple of weeks, and I think going in, we had the confidence, and being able to practice on that Friday before the game, we really just zoned in, really like focused hard, and made sure that we, when we were playing, we were well prepared. And the team's had a couple of really nice hitting percentages the past couple of matches. Talk about what's kind of going, factoring into that. Um, I definitely think we're doing things in practice that are giving our hitters a lot of confidence to go up and swing and I think even our defense like our back row are telling our hitters where to swing and I think just knowing that we have five other girls like especially for me having five girls that are going to be right there for me um, is really awesome and I think we've just kind of been building a lot of confidence on swinging high and hard and we're seeing results so I think we're just going to keep running with it. Okay. And we get to keep running with it this week. Got a couple mm -hmm. of very tough places to play. Western Washington, always a great program, and Simon Frazier as well. Talk about the mindset heading into this week. This week, we're definitely going to be practicing really hard, and I think just growing each other and making each other better and being okay, being uncomfortable, and maybe doing things that we're not quite used to, but we know that we have an end result and we're willing to do anything to get there. And I think just making sure that we're building each other up and knowing that we're a really great team with some really great girls and we just have to trust each other, trust our process, trust our system, and I think we'll come out pretty well. Okay. You're a middle blocker. What's more exciting for you, getting a kill or getting a block? What, what, think, what gives you a high? <laughs> I think getting a block because it's kind of just like a, like an insult to the other person. It's really fun, and it's just everybody gets super excited and really hyped up, and I think it's such a momentum play, and it just like makes you feel really, really good. So I definitely think a block for me. All right. You played vo played volleyball for six years before coming to SPU. Kind of a, a little bit of a latecomer. What got you into the sport? Um, I had a family friend that played, and she was like, "You should play volleyball." And I was like, "Oh, I don't know. I don't think I want to." But I tried it out, and I ended up really loving it. And I had a middle school coach that was a club coach, and he invited okay. me to play there. And from there, I kind of fell in love with the sport. I fell in love with other girls who are as competitive as me and like also really tall, which is great. Okay. Um, and so just kind of falling in love with the sport and falling in love with the team aspect was really great for me. Had you had other sports prior to that? Yes, so I played soccer. I've kind of tried everything. I played a little bit of lacrosse here and there. I did swimming for a while, but I there was something about volleyball that just really attracted me and I ran with it. Good. You're from Carlsbad, California. What got you up to Seattle? Um, definitely the team here and the coach. Um, I love Abby. I love the girls on the team. And I think being out of state was really cool. I get to grow as a person and okay. become my own individual, but also just exploring a new place and kind of getting out of my comfort zone. Okay. And you're a nursing major, is that right? I am, yeah. And I, and I see your favorite TV show is Grey's Anatomy. Any, oh, any, yes. any kind of a connection there? Yes, a little bit. I started watching Grey's Anatomy over quarantine with my mom, and I really fell in love with the, the show. And I knew I wanted to be a nurse a little bit before, but then I was like, ooh, this is definitely, I know what I want to do now. All right. You are skilled in sign language, and talk to us about that a little bit. What got you started with that, and just kind of take us through the process of learning and mastering something like that. Yeah, so I started sign language in high school, and I wanted a language that was a little bit different, and that was always something that I had tried learning myself before going into high school, and so I knew that was the language I wanted to pick, and I just really fell in love with it. I think it's so cool to be able to get involved with a community that is oftentimes left out, and I think having this skill can really bring a lot of people and make them feel included and it's really fun. I'm a very visual learner too, so it was also definitely kind of my skills, but I think it's like really fun. It's given me a chance to be part of a community that I didn't think I would be a part of and I've met some really great people through it. Would you say you are fluent in it or you are going in that direction? How would you say? I would say when I came out of high school, I was more fluent in it than I am now. But I would say as of right now, I could hold a very good conversation. And I definitely want to continue it as I go and maybe take classes throughout the years. Because I think, especially being a nurse and working in a hospital, I want yeah. everybody and anybody to feel super welcome and taken care of when they're there. And if I can do that for one person, that would really make me feel good and hopefully make them feel good as well. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Erin, and good luck on the road thank this you. week. Thank you. All right.